So it's been a long time since I put a video out. A lot has happened since my last video. And the reason I haven't put a video out in a long time is, well, I just ran out of stuff to talk about. I thought I was becoming redundant and actually became bored with the conversation that I was having. So I stopped. But I'm sharing this video with you because of the encouragement of my dad Kerry Grinkmeyer, best of US investors, about sharing what I have been doing and how I'm looking at the world. So I decided to get into, well, the mining business. Yes, I'm a miner now, or soon to be a miner. Hopefully by year's end, by Christmas time, I'll be up and running. And I'm not talking gold or silver or uranium or platinum or some other uh, uh, asset, physical asset. No, what I've gotten into is digital gold. I'm mining Bitcoin. Why did I decide to do this? Well, the biggest reason is, is that ever since the day I got a perm in high school, yes, I used to have hair, I've always thought completely differently. I've been on the edge of every, on, uh, on the outskirts of stuff. And my decision to get a perm because it was, I thought it would be cool. I thought it was the next thing. And then of course, every 80s rock band came out and it was perms or, you know, flock of seagulls or whatever. And eventually, you know, I didn't send a trend, but what I did was I was thinking way beyond the normal. And that is why I've become a digital miner. See, ever since I got an understanding of what Bitcoin was, an understanding of what the Bitcoin white paper was getting at, and then understanding the flow of money and the global economy, I've started to wonder at what point does what we know as our fiat currency system fail and go away and get replaced by a system that is non-committee driven, non-influenced, and when is that gonna happen? Because technology is moving so fast these days, since the Berlin Wall fell and we became connected with fiber optic throughout the world and the speed to transfer information has accelerated at a rapid rate every year more and more of the old system is losing grip they're grasping at straws at this point they're trying to figure it out they're trying to adapt but because of the old school thinking i'll blame that on my baby boomer parents they are now losing i think the grip on where things are going and when after leaving an industry that advocates a 60-40 investment allocation, and 40% of that asset allocation today is a negative returning asset class, bond market, take 10-year yield minus inflation, and you got yourself a negative uh, 4 to 5%. Yet the establishment advocates that you be in that because it reduces risk. No it accelerates risk. And I look at the world today and I go, where is a upcoming asset class? Yes, volatile, of course, that they always are, as was the internet when it came about and other asset classes. What asset class is going to accelerate and drastically exponentially change our world as we know it? underlying technology that will change how we do everything from banking to software programming to interaction enabling us to privatize and encrypt our personal assets and that's crypto and today yes if you are in bitcoin and have been for the last 12 months you're up you know 200 plus percent on your money which if you had just added 10, 20% of that to your overall portfolio allocation and gotten rid of your board, bond portfolio, uh, 
you'd be killing it right now. You'll be killing it. And this is not advice. This is not a recommendation. So just, this is me venting. So I look at it and I go, what's the next stage? What's the next step? Where is there money to be made? My belief is that there is always layers in something that is created. If it is construction, the guy who creates the foundation, he's the guy, you can't not have him. The AC and plumbing guys make a ton of money because they produce, have to have assets for a building, for people to be in and exist in. Well, it's the same with crypto. And what I have found is having the mining side of it is easy entry. It doesn't take a lot of people. It does take time and understanding and how it works. And so I've decided to dip my toes in that side of the whole crypto world. When I see Mark Zuckerberg change the name of his multi-billion, multi-billion person involvement company, Facebook, to Meta, and the reason they're doing it, as he discusses with Gary V um, on the Gary V podcast, you can check it on YouTube, all of a sudden you start to see our world is rapidly changing. And I want to be a part of that. I don't want to be sitting back and waiting and losing out and going, oh, I wish I had. Because we all do that at some point in our life. I wish I had. So I've gotten into mining. Now, I've been introduced to it via a relative who is mining, doing very well and expanding. So I have that mentor in a sense. I have capital for which I can inject into this new business, which I am treating like a business, as you should treat your portfolio, investment portfolio. It's a business. You're there to make money. I'm sharing this with you because of the encouragement of my dad in a conversation with a buddy of mine who is managing a crypto portfolio as he would manages a stock portfolio for his clients. This is off the hook. Anyhow, people don't understand. And I look at this as, well, I'll share this with you. I'll share my journey with you. The headaches, the hiccups, the whole bit. Am I 100% knowledgeable about this? Am I fully the expert on this? No. And what I share is purely me sharing what's experienced, what I'm experiencing. It is not advice. It is not a recommendation. But rather, it is something for you to go, huh, that's interesting. And so I'll leave this with you. Look at your bond portfolio and your bond allocation and subtract inflation from your average yield and ask yourself, am I winning or am I losing? And if you're losing, how are you gonna offset that? How are you gonna make up for that continued loss? Peace, live loud.